For today's Tuesday project, we're going to make another doormat, this time a Valentine-themed one. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, like with most of our doormats that we've made on the channel, we are starting with a piece of this felt. This is some um, felt that I bought by the yard several years ago. It's just kind of a brown rust color. And it's cut one and a half by two and a half inches. And I have some matte Mod Podge. And what I'm going to do for our first step is I am going to coat this piece of felt with a nice, thick, generous coat of Mod Podge. I want the whole thing, you want it all saturated. This is going to do a couple of things. It's going to stiffen the fabric up a little bit and make it lay a lot nicer when it's done. It's going to make the, it's going to seal the, the uh, felt so that our paint goes on a lot nicer, a lot more evenly, and it just makes for a lot nicer finish, a lot easier. So I am going to coat this entire surface and then this will need to get completely dry and I do recommend that you, oops, what is that, there's a piece of gunk there, that you actually put this on top of a piece of parchment paper to dry otherwise you might attach it to your work surface. Even my tile it does tend to stick down to as it dries. So I am going to let this dry. When it is completely dry, we'll come back and we'll do our background color. All right, the Mod Podge is dry. And for this particular drawer mat, I am going to paint the top surface with black paint. And I'm using the black that Plaid sent me. I love, I'm really falling in love with the Apple Barrel. It is really really good quality um, and one of the brushes they sent me I'm gonna have to look for more of these brushes these have become my favorite I'm trying to reserve them just for paint though not for Mod Podge as much as possible although I do use them for Mod Podge a lot too Oops, a little more paint since we've got this all sealed with that matte Mod Podge it's not soaking in, so we're going to get a we can get a really good layer of paint in a single coat. I love that. So now this needs to dry, and then we can start putting our design on our doormat. So I'll be right back. All right, now that our black paint is dry, we just have to be brave. We're going to take some white paint and a small paintbrush. Now I actually tried this with my paint pen, and my paint pen was not opaque enough over black paint to really look the way I wanted it to. So, and I might need a couple of coats. That's okay. I just want to make a little, a little swoop. And I will come back and do a second coat. Probably off camera, you don't need to watch every coat of paint go on. So I'm gonna let this dry. When this is dry, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put more white right over the top of this white. And when that dries, I'll come back and we'll start adding our next step. All right, now we are going to add some hearts to our doormat. And for this, we're going to need a variety of paint brushes. And it doesn't matter what the brush end looks like. We're using this end. Pick out paint brushes that have nice rounded ends. Um, I don't have any on over here at the table right now, but I have some cheap paint brushes that are really pointed on the ends, and they won't work for this. Also, gather up a variety of red and pink paints. Now, I have 
six colors here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to get on here, but I'll tell you what colors I've got. And then at the in the blog post, I will list which ones I did use. You need a paint that is somewhat opaque because it's going. You want it to show over the black. So I have these three are ones that Plaid sent me. I have a folk art apple red. I have ceramic coat in salmon, and I have apple barrel flag red. Also, I have some that I purchased. Um, I have Anita's in Royal Fuchsia. I have Americana, Deco Art Americana in Berry Cobbler, and I have Anita's in True Red. So let's start with this one. Let's start with Apple Red and shake it up really well. And by the way, you'll notice I have a little dot. What I've done is I take a I cut round circles with my Cricut to make little stickers of sticker paper that are round. I put those on the top of every paint bottle when I get it. And then I put a little of the paint on it, even if it has this built-in sample on the top. I always put my own, that way it's the actual paint and not a printed image. So it makes finding your paint colors a lot easier when you're trying to decide what you want to use. All right, so I have my paint open. And practice this off on a piece of paper first. I'm going to dip it in, get a nice little ball of paint, a dot, dip in. I usually just dip into the lid and there. There's our first one. Let's do another one with a skinnier paintbrush. Let's go with the salmon. And if you're not happy with how it looked like I've got a little dent in my paint there, use a toothpick and just kind of even up the sides a little bit. There, that's fine. Wipe the toothpick off in case I need it again. And wipe your butt, the end of your paintbrush off so that it's clean. I'm going to use a smaller paintbrush. I'm going to put it, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Dip in, get another dot. For me, this is the easiest way to make a heart. It's much easier than trying to paint a heart with a paintbrush. About the end of this. So I've used that one. Let's go ahead and use this uh, flag red. And we'll, I might come back and do some uh, a second time, but I'm going to start by doing each one a different color and kind of spreading them around. any touching up. Uh, let's get this one out. This is the Berry Cobbler. I may just use all six of these colors and be done and just do that many. Oops. Like I said the other day, it wouldn't be my one of my videos if I didn't drop something. You could make your hearts any color you want. You could make your background white instead of black if you wanted to, but I love um, these type of colors on a black background, whether it's in a painting or in um, on fabric or whatever. I just I love that contrast. And this one is the what is it Royal Fuchsia? That's a pretty color. Let's go with a smaller one. Let's go over here. I'm going to do that again because that, there, that's better. And the beauty of doing a doormat is it doesn't have to be perfect because even the ones that you see, the real ones that you see for sale are not perfect uh, because of what they're made of in real life. 
then I just got paint all over my fingers. And this is that true red. And I think this will be my last heart. I think this is going to be plenty. I wasn't sure when I came over here how many hearts I wanted to use. This paint is not quite as um, opaque as some of the other colors. There. Oh, I like how that turned out. So there is our doormat. Um, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll take some more pictures of it. I hope you enjoyed today's quick little project. If you did, leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Um, if you enjoy my content and you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to push that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video uh, to see more pictures and the list of the paint colors and the sizes and everything, be sure and check the blog post and I will talk to you next time. Bye.